Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Last month I shared with you about a special project I'm involved in at my local Sunday school with the children there. This video is another behind the scenes video about the preparations for it. So the artwork we did in January was sort of a taster. They were introduced to this idea of charity with art, things we can do using our creativity to help other people. That goes nicely with what they are learning in the theory classes as well. They got to know me and what I wanted from them. For me, it was a window to their mind and to explode those weird and wonderful little ideas they have, which are absolute gems when it comes to art. The inner child in me loved this journey of exploration and I was bursting with so many ideas. Some I tried at home and realised they weren't very practical within our limited time frame and resources. Then I sat down and put all my ideas onto paper. I wrote down all the ideas I want to try and the limitations I have that's stopping me from doing them. Funding, which was none. Resources, now I have four teachers. Time, we only had four days to pull off this art exhibition, so I had to plan everything very thoroughly. An art display, especially children's art display, needs really vibrant, happy artwork. So I made these little prompt cards to help with my level 1 and level 2 students to create their artwork. That's how I started this month's project. The next group is my level 3 and 4 students. I wanted to give them something more challenging to engage their interest. In class, we have learned about the seven elements of art. So in this project, I wanted them to explore texture. The teenage years are a challenging time of transition from childhood into adulthood. Not quite an adult, but not exactly a child either. So I designed this canvas art project for the teenagers. Since I had to be very economical with the preparation, as we had no funding, I decided to make the canvases they need. I already had the wooden frames, cotton fabric and gesso, which I use for my own art projects. So I used them to create my students' canvases. My class has about 40 children between 3 to 14 years of age. And in this exhibition, everyone get the same theme, but everyone will have their own way of expressing that theme, their way of expressing their feelings, insight, and perception will be different and unique. After I created the 15 canvas panels, I did line drawings in them, keeping in with our common theme. This was mainly to save time. As I mentioned before, we only have four days to pull off this exhibition. But in the instruction, I told the students to add or remove any detail they like and to make the artwork their own. While working for this charity project, my little ones are learning so many other life skills from art, like sharing, because I'm giving them limited media which they have to share with the group, and communication, compassion, empathy, patience, as well as the techniques in art. They're also learning how to use the tools given to them to create an artwork within a time frame, to focus on the task, attention, discipline, critical and creative thinking. 
art is such a magical subject to learn, create and enjoy. I want to mention about the other teachers in my Sunday school who have been an incredible support to me all through the year and especially during this project. Without their kind, generous support, this project would never have seen the light of the day. So thank you so, so much. And I also want to thank my family, especially my parents, my sister, my brother-in-law and my little nephew, all of whom played a really big part in helping me to prepare for this project. And thank you all so much for watching and for all your love and support in my art journey. I appreciate your support very much. I hope you'll have a wonderful, peaceful and creative week wherever you are in the world.